Meryl from DiffBot here, and welcome to our third KG Fundamentals video, where we'll look at how you can utilize one of the more powerful lenses within DiffBot's knowledge graph, faceting. We'll look at two aspects of faceting within the KG. First, a general faceted search, and second, the search parameter titled facet. So what is a faceted search? A faceted search relies on the fact that one is searching for an entity that can be found through multiple dimensions. For example, a specific car could be found searching among cars by color or make or model. A faceted search allows users to use one or more of these facets that are shared by a range of objects to control what results or returns in a search. In this sense, faceted search is commonly seen in e-commerce sites, where you may begin your search for a product using a keyword and then refine the results by toggling facets such as price or brand or size. All DiffBot knowledge graph searches rely on some sort of faceted search. The simplest search you can perform in the KG is selecting a type of entity to return all entities of that type, and that's facet searching by an entity type. The range of fields you can facet on can be explored in DiffBot's knowledge graph ontology, and varies based on the entity type you're searching for. For example, a corporation might have an industry, and a product might have a price. Within the knowledge graph, there's also a search parameter named facet. Faceted queries return a summary view of all entities that would otherwise have been returned from your search. For example, you could facet a query for all employee skills at a company. The result would look like the following. You can begin a facet query in the Visual Query Builder or the DiffBot Query Language Editor. Essentially, create a query as you normally would for a given set of entities. For the final step, you'll need to jump into the DiffBot Query Language Editor and add the word facet, a colon, and then the field you would like to facet by. In this example, I've created a query that would return all person entities in the knowledge graph who presently work at Facebook and who attended Stanford University. Now I'm going to add a facet by the names of their skills. So here you can see the summary building nature of the facet parameter. We can see that Facebook employees from Stanford tend to list teaching or economics or programming as their skills, while a smaller number tend to list MATLAB or mass media or advertising. In market intelligence use cases, sometimes a facet query gives you all the information you need. It can also be useful as a quick way to survey where most of the data around an entity type is. You might then want to mine into a specific portion. If you click on one of the faceted search results, it will take you to a list of all constituent entities that comprise the count from the facet result. In this case, all person entities who otherwise match the query and who specifically list teaching as a skill. Thanks for watching our third KG Fundamentals video, and check back in the future for more advanced KG search query walkthroughs.